morning. It's a happy Monday morning because anytime Bob Reese, Glory Bound, is in the house, it's a happy Monday morning. Yes, you are. So happy, happy Monday morning. And happy, happy morning to you for a man who just got out of the hospital. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> He's alive, yes. <laughs> which is God's a good thing. Good. God's, good. God's good. How many units of uh, fluid did they take off your little body? 11 pounds. Lord Bob, could they come get 11 pounds off my gut? <laughs> I'd be well, so tickled. <laughs> you don't want them to take it off. I know. Way I had Bless it your off. heart. Bless and your heart. really uh, shouldn't have been that much. I mean, congestive heart failure, I'm going to have from little now bit. on. Yeah, yeah. With, a, with a condition my heart's in. But I was stubborn. I should have went to the hospital three weeks prior. But we had a trip planned. I uh, had to be in a studio in, in Tennessee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And All those are more important than living. <laughs> All those are so much more important than so living. I kept putting yeah. it off, and then yeah. Saturday morning, uh, about 4 o'clock in the morning. Couldn't I, breathe? Oh, no, I hadn't been able to breathe for three weeks. Yeah, yeah. And, and I told Linda, I said, well, it's a mess. We need to go. Yeah. And we were up on the Blue Ridge Parkway up at uh, Little Switzerland. So we got in the car about five time we got everything packed up and left and drove back to the hospital. <laughs> stubborn, stubborn. Yeah. And who said women are stubborn? <laughs> okay, but now you're looking fit as a fiddle and you're doing well and Feel you different. have a big event planned on Saturday night. We do. This is our... It's exciting. It's exciting. Our 16th annual June Sing. Used to call it the Father's Day Sing, but mm -hmm. we just now call it the June Sing. And mm -hmm. this year will be a historic event because it will be the bittersweet last time that uh, <clears throat> Glory Bound and the Joy Masters will be together. Wow. The Joy wow. Masters are retiring at the end of this year, 2023. And uh, they're acting like they put in enough years. You think 50 <laughs> years is enough years? I don't know. 54, I think. 54. Well, yeah. maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave them credit for 50. So. <laughs> but they've, uh, it's, it's a bittersweet for all the sure guys in the group, you know. And, and yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, so Billy was born a joy masters because yeah. of daddy and mama. Yeah. They, and so who's the oldest besides them? Is Tim next? Tim Tim's got forty plus years with the group, yeah. which is Yeah. Unbelievable for yeah. a lead singer. Yeah. Most of them just come and go oh, like yeah. the wind, I but he didn't. <laughs> Yeah, lead singers are hard to... Yeah, hard to deal with. They're <laughs> a bit spoiled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just said that, to him. We didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, I hope not for We love person. Tim Jennings. We love Tim Jennings. So, yes. yeah, he's yeah, a good Tim, guy. Tim has filled in for us some. And, and uh, recently, uh, you know, he'd come to one of our, some of our events. And, and uh, we were... We were doing sound check. Glory Bound was doing sound check, and uh, somehow or another he got singing, and we so we just joined in, started yeah. singing with him, and then Linda joined in. And oh, singing. sweet! I love <laughs> so that. So when the concert started, that is so cool. I uh, I asked him to come up on the stage, and then I said, Linda, you might as well come on too. Mm -hmm. So we had Linda and, and Tim both up on the stage. That is cool. That is uh, cool. And it turned out good. It was yeah. good. Yeah, to go back 54 years. And as people are looking at the um, their favorite songs, their favorite moments of the Joy Masters, right. many of them weren't recorded and haven't been saved because 54 years ago, technology was very different. Right. Very different. Right. And I know today right. I was looking on YouTube to get y'all something I could play right. about the Joy Masters, and I found very little. So if you have any Joy Masters footage and you're salvaging it, saving it, hiding it, squandering it, <laughs> then put it on YouTube so yeah. everybody can see it. That would yeah. be really, really cool. Yeah. My favorite memory of the Joy Masters, <clears throat> uh, I was probably... I'm not sure if Linda and I were married then or not. I think somewhere around 19 or 20 year old, and I'd known the guys, mm -hmm. you know, in the group. Even Michael Bill Hitt mm -hmm. had sang with them. So, mm -hmm. 
and went to a concert. Uh, Don't you listen, that old rain's coming back. Yeah. Here comes that old rain coming back. Oh no, the old rain is coming <laughs> back. We've had enough, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the original group, mm -hmm. uh, Jerry and Bobby and, uh, Man. Didn't Vicky, Ardell. somebody in Vicky, Vicky Hit Lawson's family sing with them? Uh, Her daddy? No. No? No, that was Bill. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Ardell and Bob Forster. Bailey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike Bailey's parent. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But that was the original member. Mm -hmm. And they sang a so song. So we're talking a generational thing. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and they sang a song. Uh, that just tore me up, and and that's really when when God started dealing with me about doing some singing mm -hmm. stuff too. I'd I'd sing a little bit in school, but you know, did I sang at our prom mm -hmm. uh, one year uh, my, when I was in eleventh grade, but didn't really you know get out and sing, and mm -hmm. and I wished I'd if I had time to go over. It, things would have been different. Done it a little differently. Yeah. I reckon we'd all do things a little differently if we look back. I made yeah. fun of old folks <coughs> a week or two ago, then I became one, and I <laughs> I got tickled. <coughs> My bestie's younger than me, and and this knee, y'all. I took the weekend off, and I only <coughs> showed two houses all weekend because my knee was really in trouble, and I proved a point. If you sit and let something heal, and if you work with it with heat, it will heal. Because today, I don't feel like a new person, but I feel like a better person, and I've got somebody I need you to pray for. He needs to feel like a better person. Our buddy Vic Davis had a bit of a fall, and it was one of those falls where, you know, the doctor says, oh, this is a good hip hip." break no problem now this was a bad hip break a big problem he is repaired and he is in the nursing home here in gilmer county so i want each and every one of you to pray for vic now i could say that he's older than me yes he's a lot older than me but we know that he's still a going and a getting it and a staying busy and loving life and so y'all please put Vic Davis on your prayer list because this hip fall was not not as much fun as the first one and it wasn't as easily repaired as the first one and it has to heal. And so if you love him, you know him, please put him on your church prayer list. Please put him on your personal prayer list and pray for this gentleman. He is a sweetheart. He is one of those sweethearts of the community that we all know and love. And I promise y'all, I ain't making fun of old folks no more. I've got my granny's cane out there in the car because my knee was so messed up last week, I had to use my granny's cane. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So be careful when you walk and you tumble or be careful if you have an old injury and you turn the wrong way because you might end up having to hunt down your granny's cane. So be cautious. Today we are going to share some music. We're going to share some memories and we're going to encourage you and we hope to get you to come to Hickory Flat Fellowship Hall. Now, what can we say about that church, how amazing they are? They, uh, they have opened the doors to, to their fellowship hall for I don't know how many years, 30, 40 years. And, and I don't know of, of anybody that has ever needed that facility for a benefit, mm -hmm. uh, what, reunion, whatever. I don't know of anybody they've ever turned down. They're uh, awesome. Sherry, They're they awesome. Just, uh, they just open the doors and, and, and uh, they not only open the doors and allow you the f use of the facility, but they support you, mm -hmm. you know, and come out right. to whatever event you're having. We, Glory Bounds used it many, many times. Uh, I've been involved with benefits there uh, over the years, and uh, and I tell them every time we have an event there uh, what it means to me in that mm -hmm. community, because mm -hmm. uh, it is it's truly a blessing. It is for it is. Uh, for a church just to you know come on in, y'all do whatever you need to be, you know. Yeah, and somebody we know and love got some good members there. 
Yes. Some real good members yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> and we know and love them. So, yeah. okay, we're going to share some music with y'all today, and we're going to share memories about the Joy Masters. When you think about the Joy Masters and you think, you know, um, the Forrester family, Jerry, w was so up until the very end, he one was so mentor. involved. Yeah, yeah, he was so involved. Yeah. And sadly, he went to be with the Lord. Good for him, bad for everybody else. Because right. so many people looked up to this gentleman. Right. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. Well, Jerry, like I said, the, my first memory, uh, well, my fondest memory was was that night that, the, that uh, they sang a song that just really got me in the right direction. Now, were Jerry singing. and Bobby the first generation of foresters to sing? Yes, okay. they started the group. Okay. And uh, Jerry had just always been a friend to me, you know, and then after a while I started Glory Bound. Jerry Foster was one of the uh, greatest supporters uh, Glory Bound has ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, he would call me, uh, at least every week, sometimes twice a week, or I would call him, mm -hmm. and and we and every time, how's the group doing? Mm -hmm. How's the boys? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, he was just a, just a good, uh, godly man that I that I respected. I mm -hmm. loved him, uh, and looked up to him, and and it took in what he told me and mm -hmm. tried to use some of it. And uh, I, I tell you, it's at his funeral uh, when they started rolling him out of the church at, at the end. I don't know why. Uh, I just started clapping. Because you knew where he was going. Yeah, and and yeah. And, and I wanted yeah. to say, but I held it back, and I wished I had him, Bobby. I told her, and she said, you should have said it. I said, you did it right, Jerry. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I didn't say that. I wished I had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I wished I had told him that when he was alive. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. But he was just a great man. Yeah. When we, when we look back on the music industry, and, and, and most of the people we know in the music industry are there as a ministry. They are not there as a moneymaker. So... I, I looked at Angel Spirit, and I was watching some stuff over the weekend, and I was thinking about it, it was Rick and Selena's anniversary. Yeah. And it's Rick's first year facing that anniversary, that day, that moment, without the love of his life. And yeah. I'm thinking about this. Her funeral was planned by her, and she and I were talking one day, riding around, laughing and cutting up, and, and she said, Rick has planned his funeral, and I've planned mine. And she said, we didn't go together to plan our funerals because we wanted it to be our own special uniqueness. And so I, I don't know if you were at Selena's funeral, but when it ended with her singing herself out of there, and I thought about that Saturday when I realized that it was their anniversary, and I thought I could barely sit through that without just falling apart and just shaking and trembling all over because it was so amazingly perfect but her husband and the love of her life had to sit there and listen to that. Right. And what kind of emotion did he deal with? Because it was it was perfection. It was absolute. If you could preach somebody the way they would want to go, she planned her own funeral and it was it was a home run. It was amazing and it was of her life. Yeah, I love it. It was sweet. awesome. She's sweet. And she's, she's sweet. you know, she's only been gone six months. But it, it seems like forever, and it seems like yesterday. And it's like Jerry, he's been gone how many years? Four? Yeah. 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 And I'm it seems sure. like we would walk in and say, hey, hey brother, yeah. today. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just, time yeah. goes so quickly. And, and when we yeah. were talking about Vic Davis yesterday, he's 90 years old. Y'all, for, for all our ETC viewers, for over 20 years, you have been able to see this amazing man and his family here on ETC. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that I love about this television station. We have that longevity. We've got your kids recorded that are now doctors somewhere. <laughs> They've already gotten all their degrees and they're doctors. Yeah. And we have them out here playing baseball, playing football. 
the familiarity of, of local communities, and I said this, and I, and I truly believe this, my, my friend Vicki came up with this saying, and it's so perfect for North Georgia. We are preserving the past and we are embracing the future. Many of our viewers are newbies yeah. who've never been here before. Yeah. They don't know about Glory right. Bound. They don't know about the Joy Masters. Right. If you come to our communities in the North Georgia mountains where we are truly preserving the past and embracing the future, you need to get out and learn about the little country churches. I was in a little country church the other night for a revival and a young man was saved and he kept Amen. asking everybody to pray to get his daddy in church. Get my daddy in church. Y'all pray with me to get my daddy in church. And I thought, how cool is that? This young man was in his 20s. And as he was saved, that was important to him. Yeah. But it was more important to, he wants to see his daddy coming through those church doors. Right. Is that not cool in America today? Well, that's wow. Is that not <laughs> cool? I mean, that yeah. is just so wow. Yeah. And, and that's what we need to do. We need to come back to these little country churches. We need to go to these revivals. We need to, you know, and... And I know I visited Church of Gods, I visited Church of Christ, I visited, um, I visited, I reckon every church around from Lebanon to um, Harbor Ministries. I love all the services, but there's nothing quite like a revival when you see that young man who doesn't give up and doesn't give in and he is saved right. and his life has changed forever. Right. It was amazing. A lot of, a lot of the, uh... And this church was established in 1880, I believe, yeah. 1880. A lot, of, a lot of churches since COVID, uh, and they shut, them, shut churches down. Mm -hmm. and people quit going for a and, while. And you just said it right. They shut churches down. Right. We listened to them right. when we should have been listening to him. Right. And boy, did we blow it. Yeah. And, yeah. and a lot of people have not gotten <coughs> back. And people may disagree with this. Mm-hmm. But, but you get in the habit of going on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the right word to use, a habit, but yeah. you just you just know on Sunday you're going to church, yeah. you know. Yeah. But a lot of people got out of that, and, and they're not going. Uh, when we go to concerts and when we're singing, we're not singing to the size of crowds that we sing to. Now, I'm not saying every church, but, mm -hmm. you know, overall... <coughs> We're not singing to the size crowds that we used to sing to. And it's not just glory bound. It's all the big right. full-time groups because they're talking about it too. You know, right. the crowds are just not coming back to the churches. And you're missing out. I mean, I know you can watch it on TV. You can worship God anywhere. You can worship God in your car, out in the, out on the, out in the field, or wherever. Uh, and you can pray to Him wherever. But the fellowship of, of other Christians is, is something that we need mm -hmm. as Christians to, to uh, keep us accountable right. for, our, for our actions mm -hmm. uh, and for the way that, that we react to each other. If, and if, you don't, if you're not fellowshipping with Christians and the only people you're fellowshipping with is at Walmart or the grocery store or, or wherever, they may or may not be Christians. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and you need you need to yoke yourself with Christians. And, well, and you do that at church. And 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 the, the old timey music and just the just the <laughs> fellowship. You're right. It was it's it just was I love it. <clears throat> and I got tickled a lady looked over and said, Sherry, oh my gosh, I never expected <laughs> to see you here and it's a long way from home, but I just yeah. made a point to go. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was a blessing. It was a big blessing. And, uh, and we all need to be blessed. And this is yeah. revival time. This is summer. This is summer in the South, which is the best thing. You got the great um, homecoming meals. You got oh, the homecoming yeah. meals. You got the great music. And you got the great fellowship. Yeah. So if you're new to our area, please get out and get to know our local churches. <clears throat> now, we're going to do a song in a few minutes. But I want to show you all some pictures. And we've been trying to get a house ready and getting rid of a bunch of stuff and taking it to the thrift store. So we're loading up a bunch of junk last night, and I said, listen, we got to take this baby to feed her. And I told Ansley, I said, we haven't been to the Waffle House in a long time. Let's take this baby to the Waffle House. <coughs> You're going to get to see a look of Zanna's face when she saw her eggs and grits and raisin toast at the Waffle House. 
But first of all, we're going to show you a beautiful cabin here in LJ that we have on the market. It has just under three acres. It is so cute. And I met the nicest people yesterday showing this. This is so cute. And it belongs to an elderly couple. And I said, it's like walking back into Nana and Papa Baker's house because everything was pristine, absolutely perfect, cute as could be. And it is on just under three acres. Look at that porch. Does that not make you want to retire and just sit on the porch? And that swing, just a precious, precious place. And it is available for $239. So pick up the phone and call me. It has three acres. Underground utilities just right off 382 here in Gilmer County. And it is a cute, cute spot. It backs up to 1,000 acres, which means it's pretty private out there. Yeah, so uh, right. pretty yeah. cool, pretty cool. So if you're interested <coughs> in in moving to the area or if you're here for the weekend and you're thinking we might like to look at some real estate, there's one I'd love to show you. And again, you can pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. That is the sweetest little spot. I showed it twice and I, I found myself sitting on the back porch. I didn't want to leave because it was so <laughs> peaceful. It was so nice. So. Wow. So if you're interested, pick up the phone and call me. Now we're going to see baby Zana in a minute. And y'all, this face, it, it, it ought to be the commercial that Waffle House uses because, and this is our dear friends, Ron and Shirley Singleton, as they were sadly recognizing their beautiful son, Brady, who was killed by a drunk driver. Remember the holidays are coming. Remember that the 4th of July, there will be more beer sold mm -hmm. than any other time of the year. <clears throat> if you are drinking, do not be driving. Now this is coming out in the progress this week. This is my secret recipe for fried squash. And I can tell you, if you pick up a copy of the progress this week, you will get to know the secret ingredient and it just works great and it is so yummy and i've been doing this for about 15 years this is something i converted my grannies now look at that y'all is that not the cutest thing the waitress brings her her grits and her eggs and her toast and oh wow She's ready. <laughs> is that not precious yeah. oh my gosh so sweet so <laughs> sweet we are so blessed well, we're going to bless y'all with a song by Glory Bound. And um, then we're going to bless y'all with a song by Joy Masters. So you will recognize these gentlemen at uh, Joy Masters. Most of them have been around a long time. They haven't had many changes in a while, have they? No, actually, uh, <coughs> they're, they're front line. Tim and Eric, and who else is still there? Uh, J.D. J.D., yeah. Uh, <coughs> Billy. Love to hear him do how yeah. great they are. Yeah. Wow, wow. So they, their tenure is probably 12 years plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know, I don't yeah. know of any of them. So y'all sit <clears> back <throat> and just, just listen. Just listen to a, a little bit of really good gospel music. Do this
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? The mountains are calling, and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. amazing grace Ooh. because you just came through a scare that could have taken you out of this world. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be diagnosed with cancer which is a good thing because my mama, we we're approaching my mama's date that the Lord called her home from the same exact cancer on the same exact place that I had it. And God's amazing grace is allowing me to find early detection. He allowed you to go into the hospital yeah. He's not through with us yet. And you know what somebody told me last night? He said, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You're too mean and ornery to die. <gasps> Bob Reese, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Are when, we here because we're mean and ornery? <laughs> I, I'm sure Linda would agree with that. <laughs> I love it. We walked in the Sunday school room yesterday and hadn't been because we'd been seeing anyway indoor. I was in the hospital. And walked in and the lady says, there he is, the cat. And I looked down and she lives. said, you got nine lives. <laughs> we are blessed with his amazing grace. Yes. We have come through some things that we didn't think we'd get through. You were in the Andes and your heart was giving you problems. You have been in some strange places with heart problems, but you always got back to where you needed to be. Right. God, God has really watched over me and... and uh, you know, you look back on, on what happened yesterday or last year and you think, wow, if it wasn't wow. for God, you know. Wow, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but he's, he's, he's just good. He's, just <laughs> he's beyond amazing. Yes, he is. I've, I've seen some things lately, and, and I don't know why, but for some reason I know more people who've lost children from drugs now in my lifetime wow. than ever before. Yep. And maybe it's a sign of our times. It's I always say, follow the money, follow the money, see what's happening to you and follow the money. Yeah. There are people out there who are selling mm. drugs, doing drugs. There are people burying their children who had no idea their kids had drug problems. There are, are women out there 
who I, I talked to a lady Friday night whose son had, had passed and, and they didn't find him for 11 days. Mm -hmm. And you think about that 11 days of agony, but she said through that, my husband and I prayed our way through that. Imagine that. That'd if your hard. child is missing That'd be hard. and then you find them deceased, but you pray your way through that. And I think that's something being at it's um, Olive Vine Baptist Church over in Rydell, 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 I think mm. it's Rydell, isn't Rydell. It? Rydell, yeah. Um, the other night I just thought every, everywhere we go, we see somebody who has been, who has seen his amazing grace and who has gone through something that you never thought you'd live through, you never thought you'd come out of. And then all of a sudden, I, I walked into Chick-fil-A the other day and this precious, beautiful young lady waited on me. She's been battling cancer for over 12 years. And she's waiting on me at Chick-fil-A and I'm thinking about His Amazing Grace. Because she was young when she was diagnosed, she is a fighter beyond any fighter I've ever seen and she's at work today. How amazing is that? Is that not God's grace? Yep. We're, we're doing a new CD that you and I talked about before the uh, program started. One of the songs and even the title of the new CD is The God I Know. Mm -hmm. And it's got some lyrics in there that talks about it, that he's never changing. Mm -mm. He's mm -hmm. the same today as he was to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he's still the same God. Uh, and he is amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and, Absolutely. And you look around and you see, no matter what we're going through, mm -hmm. you can always turn your head and you're going to see somebody that's, that's worse off Absolutely. going through a worse trial than, than you are going through. And, and the only thing you can do is just through the heartbreak is pray for. Right. You know? Right. Uh, I was watching... <laughs> I was on a, because I was trying to heal my leg, and I did good, y'all. I did really, really good. I did a banner, lots of hours of the Waltons, and I was watching the Waltons. And they had taken in a, a baby who was um, adopt, being adopted, and they were kind of their foster home until the adoptive parents got to get her. And I thought about, if you're a child, because it's affected me all my life that my father wasn't in my life. If you're a child and you're removed from a home because your parents chose drugs or alcohol over you, mm -hmm. think of the burden that they bear. Right. Think of the heartache right. that they live. But if you're a child whose mom and dad did drugs and then by the grace of God, they are back in church today, right. you still bear that burden that you had right but you also see His amazing grace. And if you see it up close and personal, you really believe it. Right. You really believe it. Right. Well, one of the things our Sunday school teacher said yesterday, is, and I don't know where he got the numbers, but 75% of the homes uh, in America are fatherless. Absolutely. We talked about that last week. And that's, that's, a, that's, that's to me, that is mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that, that we've got that many fathers, just like right. you just said, right. that have left those right. children. And, right. and I guess that's one of the things that pulls on me with the White Christmas and the other programs that we're involved in is no matter whose fault it is, mm -hmm. whether it's the, if it's just the dad because he wants to get out or maybe the mom is run him out, you right. know, right. Or, or whatever. The, the situation is, it is never, ever, ever, never, ever that child's fault. Right, right. And, and those of us that, are, uh, that see that and have compassion for that, then we've got to step up and be the dads for those kids mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. Our community has to, get, has to step up mm -hmm. and be dads and moms for those kids. Yep. Uh, and we, we're living in an America that's upside down whole lot different from what it was wow. when you and I grew up. Wow, wow. And we just need to pray for our night. And the Bible says to pray for those in authority first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we need to be praying. <laughs> that, I could make a joke out of that, but I won't because we're on a serious matter. I, I could, and y'all know I would. Yeah, but you're still I probably supposed should. to pray for it. <laughs> I probably should. I probably will. But, but when... 
Father's Day is a tough day for me. It's a tough day for me in many, many areas because I know, I know there's so many children out there. I, I saw somebody this weekend who has, has had a drug problem for many years but now doesn't have. Mm. And I was so, wow, wow, because now, 16 years later, she's clean and, and, and singing in church and, you know, it's amazing. It is right. amazing. His grace is really <coughs> for any and everybody. Of the 700 <coughs> plus, 770 plus children that, that uh, and this, I'm not bragging them, we were just talking about God here. The 770 plus children that we were able to help mm -hmm. this last year, last Christmas, uh, for the White Christmas. 400, I forgot the exact number, but 400 plus of those children were in, were in uh, uh, Children's Haven which is a division of CASA, which they have custody of these children between the time that DFACS takes them mm -hmm. out of the danger and puts them into a foster home. There's that, there's that span of time when those children are just kind of in limbo. Mm -hmm. So they, they are put in, in <coughs> custody of Children's Haven and CASA. And so 400 plus of those children mm -hmm. Or had no home. Yeah, yeah. And and it's it's just. Well, yeah. you and I both know somebody whose son had lived in a cardboard box in Atlanta, and he was on drugs, and he was on the bad bad drugs, and he's now been drug free for seven years. And when I think about that, is God's grace. Yeah. It was also God's grace when that mother would continually go and say, "Son, I'll buy you a meal. I'll do this. I'll do that, but I won't help you with your habit." And now, seven years later, we see this productive, amazing, working young man. But it took God's grace, and yeah. only God's grace yeah. would have. And, and as he was doing heroin next to somebody who died, then it changed his life. So God's grace was given to him, and maybe God's grace was given to the man who died because he no longer was struggling and suffering. Right. So we see it in so many different areas, and, and it, is, it is free. It is for all of us. Right. It is for all of us, no matter what right. you're facing. And I've heard from so many women who said, I've been in an abusive relationship. I've put up with this. I've put up with that because I didn't want to break up our home. I wanted our children to have their daddy. Okay, sometimes it's better to not. And my mother made that decision to not be around my father, which later I was angry at her because I was a fatherless child. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have my daddy. And it brings a little bit of anger, but you better look at your mama and say, did your mama make a good decision to remove you from that danger zone that you could have been in? Did your mama make the right decision? Yeah, sure she did. Right. Took me 60 years to get over it, but, but moms do the best they can. Now, when the mom fails, that's really tough because if a mom chooses drugs and alcohol and whatever lifestyle she chooses over her children, that has to be the hardest thing in the world because you know what? You know what about a mother's love? A mother's love is supposed to be the greatest love and the most forever love. Right. And if you see a mom who is choosing drugs and alcohol over their children, imagine walking in that little fella's footsteps and having to deal with mama's not here with me because mama chose the drugs over me. That has to be so hard. And I've talked to so many kids who said, I never understood why mama didn't love us enough to give up the drugs. <clears throat> it's hard. It's right. hard. It's hard for right. the kids. Right. But you have adopted grandchildren. Right. Your daughter, <clears throat> she chose to be their mom. Yes. She went to a foreign country to get these children? Got, got, three, <coughs> got three from Guatemala and one from South Georgia. Right. And these are the most loving kids i mean they and they glow oh yeah they and, glow and uh i mean we love them equally to scott's kids mm -hmm. uh, because i mean you know we've had them since they were just babies and uh, god placed them in with christy and and in our lives in our family and uh, they have just all been a blessing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. good I mean, and that's god too mm -hmm. and those those kids uh, they love Christy and Keith as their mother and daddy mm -hmm. because they 
Keith and Christy have loved them as their very own. Mm -hmm. I mean, they couldn't have loved a child any more mm -hmm. had they been able to physically had them. So uh, children need love, mm -hmm. and 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 they if you give a child love, he'll give it back. Absolutely. And that's what that's what you see in 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 Christian Keith's home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you've watched those kids grow up, and if you've been lucky enough to be in any of the concerts where they're singing, they were little bitty fellows singing, right. and now they're adults singing. It's yeah. so weird to see that. And one of them just graduated from <laughs> high school. I know, I can't, it's crazy. Can't believe it. And, and she's smart as a whip. She's she's been dual enrollment, taking college courses, and she's going to start in North Georgia in September as a as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that just Blows your mind. Yeah, I just yeah. I, I yeah. struggled. How cool is that? <laughs> in How high cool school, I can't that? imagine taking two college courses at the same time you're going to school. If you're, you know, if you're a foster mom, um, boy, do I salute you because being oh, a foster yeah. mom is is very special. Yeah. Because in in the program I watched with the Waltons. For them to take on this baby, they knew they would fall in love with the baby, and then it had to be given back. A foster mom often falls in love with that baby, and then right. it gets it gets to go home to its parents when its right. parents get their act together again, right. and that has to be hard. <coughs> so, to foster parents, every every community that we serve is short on foster families. If you would right. love to be a foster family, get in touch with your local defects office. If you have raised all your children, but you are nurturing and you're loving and you have space in your home, then please get in touch with the fostering um, system through defects because there are so many children. A lot of kids are being shipped to South Georgia because there aren't enough homes in our area. Yeah. So, so think about that. CASA uh, and Children's Haven is there in Canton. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and and uh, so you could call them and and they'd, they'd point you in the right direction, get you in contact with whoever you need to be in contact with. Right. And they they average 400 plus children on their row daily. Oh, that's I crazy. mean, it, it you know it changes, but but over 400 children they have custody of, mm. and that's just in Cherokee County. Yeah, that's crazy. So you know you you think about all these if there's that many in every county in Georgia. Mm -hmm. or every county in the United States. Look at how many, that, that'd be a million plus kids. A lot, yeah, yeah, wow, uh, that, that That don't have a home. Yep. And that yep. don't count the ones that are living out on the street. Exactly, that aren't even on the roster for how many are out there. Right. Yeah, yeah. sad. Right. Okay, we're gonna go to a song by Glory Bound, and you yeah. chose what song? I Wear a Crown. I Wear a Crown, and he does, he does. And we'll, we'll come back to you in just a minute. Great. <laughs> I'm on my journey, journey to that city for square. And my faith and the love of God, I surely will enter there. When some glad tomorrow, tomorrow, with the saints I'll stand. I'll put on a crown and trouble or strife we will live through the ages by the beautiful tree of life with some glad tomorrow with the saints i'll stand i'll put on a crown and walk around all over god's promised land singing oh glory what a wonderful day i'll join the song of the blood washed strong while the ages roll away when I get to heaven, heaven, on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and I'll walk around all over God's promised land. Every bad we have over will be happy, we'll be happy over there. We will shout, we will shout and never in Everybody will be happy. 
beautiful strand. I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Okay, I hope that tempted you to come Saturday night to yes. Hickory Flat Fellowship Hall at 5 p.m. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, y'all. That means you got plenty of hours of daylight. You can go eat your early supper about 4 o'clock, show up at 5 o'clock, and the music and the ministry starts right then. And right. tell us who all's going to be there. Be the Joy Masters, the Hickory Flat Fellowship Choir, Awesome Choir. There's about 40 members now mm -hmm. that's grown, and I'll put them up against anybody. Anybody. They're choir. great. They are great. And then, of course, Glory Bound will be there. And uh, we just love to see you. Again, this will be uh, a historic event in the fact that Joy Masters will be retiring at the end of this year. So, this will be the last time that Glory Band and the Joy Masters will be together. We're usually together a couple of times a year mm -hmm. and have been for 20 years. And so, it's going to be a bittersweet time for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, there, you know, I, I can't imagine the feelings that Tim has. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Being yeah. the oldest uh, living member of the mm -hmm. group. Living. He is living. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. His, and my favorite <laughs> song they do is, I just started living, so we're all living. <laughs> I, I think he's alive. We're lucky to be alive, Bob. Just look at us. We're lucky to be alive. Oh, so, God's yeah. good, though, you know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And again, give us the address of the Hickory Flat Fellowship it's, Hall. Uh, 5301 Hickory Flat Highway, Canton, Georgia. And uh, come on out, guys, and, and support the glory, uh, the Joy Masters. Uh, and just let them know that you've, you, you've loved them over these 54 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, just come and enjoy it. It'll be a good night. And it might be a good time to pick up a CD or two because one day there won't be any to pick up. Right. So there you go. Yeah, they, they'll be go. selling out, and when they sell out, I'm sure they won't reorder. That's it. Yep. So That's you it. need to come and, and uh, support them and, yep. and just, just let's go to church. Go to church. And Let's Sunday church. morning, we'll also be at uh, Crow's, Crow Springs Baptist Church uh, on Crow Springs Road in Cartersville. And that starts at 1030. We'd love to see you come out there and be with Glory Bound uh, on Sunday morning as well. Uh, so we've got a big weekend planned this weekend. And, and y'all just pray that God will be with us, be on the bus, and uh, just fill us up with the Holy Spirit and let us share Jesus, and our prayer is let someone find Jesus today. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and let's also add Bob Reese to your prayer list because with congestive heart failure, he has to watch it or he will blossom again and they'll be taking off more liquid off of you, right? Yeah. So he's got to take care of himself. Yeah. If you are looking for a home church, visit some of the great churches in our communities from Harbor Ministries down to First Baptist Ball Ground. We have so many different churches. We have so many amazing people who say welcome when you come in. And thank you to the folks over at Olive Vine because I felt really weird. I was the only one that wasn't dressed up because I'd been working. But I, I was welcomed, and, and thank you to y'all. That, was, that yeah. was a sweet, sweet night, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the folks who came up and talked to me. And we just we shared a lot of stuff. And, you know, we have a lot of things in common <clears throat> that with strangers that we have no idea we have anything in common with. Right. It's just, it's, just right. a, it's a weird, it's a big, wild, wonderful world 
There are some wicked spots in it, but we can get through those wicked spots. Yeah, we, we are blessed to have the churches mm -hmm. that we've got in our, in our area. And I don't, mean, I, don't, I don't mean just the number of churches, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about the, the quality right. uh, of, of the people, the, the congregations. I mean, they're, they're just, uh, we just blessed. And we've got yep. some great preachers Absolutely. in the area, and God is just good. And I got to say, Bob and Linda got to see my arm, and not a whole lot of people have. Y'all pray for this lady. But it's, it's healing. Your prayers are making a difference. It's healing. Right. He's listening. Yes. It's healing. That is amazing. I lost a lot of skin. I was in trouble. It was infected. It is healing. And Amen. that is the power of prayer. Yeah. The power of prayer. There's nothing yeah. any stronger, so yeah. keep on praying. I know that Jen is still dealing with her new chemo, and she's a little bit weary, so y'all keep praying. That's, that's the one thing we can give each other that doesn't cost us a red cent. Right. It's kind of like if I sell CDs, five for 45, you get a deal. You get a better deal if you pray. Right. <laughs> it doesn't cost you nothing. Also, if I could, my mm -hmm. brother Larry is in the hospital now. He, he has congestive heart failure. He did, uh, he's got cancer in his lungs and his lymph nodes. And they had him on a heavy de dose of sodium to go along with the... Uh, chemo, wow, and that's it caused weird. him to go into uh, congestive heart failure. So Y'all pray for him. He's down at Canton. and uh, Is he older or younger brother? He's two years older. Two years yeah. older. I call him my daddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> he looks so much like my daddy. Oh, wow. So, so, so pray for each other. And uh, yeah. again, if you're new to our community, welcome, where we are preserving the past and embracing the future. I hope yes. to see you again soon, only on ETC.